So yeah, if you uh, if you s slip up on a word, because I can use B roll to cover that up, don't or like you say it. Yeah, yeah. Just pick up where you left off. Don't try to rethink how to say it. Just unless you don't like where you were going, but just yeah, yeah. pause and just pick up where you left off. Okay. Yep. I can do that. All right. I'm a one and done kind of guy, Jack. So we're probably just gonna have to shoot it. Just keep rolling. You know? Yeah. Exactly. I fumble the words. I fumble the words. It is what it is. It is. All right, what's going on guys? Uh, Ty Nelson here from Florida Fishing Products and today I'm doing an overview of our new Osprey CE Pro, uh, the newest generation of our original Osprey spinning reel. So I'm gonna do something a little different. I've never done this before actually. I'm gonna do an actual unboxing of each one of our Osprey CE Pro reels and then I'm gonna do an overview of each reel, kind of talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly of it. Uh, talk about what it's meant for, uh, how we've used them so far, whose hands we put them into already in the testing phase, and uh, also kind of some of my expectations for it, for this reel and uh, you know why I think you're going to enjoy the new Osprey CE Pro. So we're going to start first with the Osprey CE Pro 2500. This is my personal favorite reel for sight fishing for redfish and sea trout, specifically in Pineland Sound. But if I was fishing in other areas of the state, you know, fishing in Tampa Bay, sight fishing, this would be a great reel. Fishing in Mosquito Lagoon for big trout and redfish, this would be a great reel. So. What I like about the 2500 is our lightest reel, super, super lightweight. It comes in at 7.65 ounces. It comes with this really nifty little uh, FFT travel bag. Now, it doesn't fit super great on the rods, but if you're traveling in and out of state or in and out of country, uh, you want to protect your reels. This is an awesome way to protect your reel. You got your little handle sleeve right there. Boom, you can pop your reel right out of that. And first impressions of this one, I haven't picked up this reel yet today. Smooth baby. Super smooth. So yeah, Osprey CE 2500, our lightest weight of our CE uh, Pro Series. We are going to have a 1000 size reel that's going to launch in July around ICAST, so that will eventually be our lightest reel today, but for most of my inshore sight fishing uses, I'm throwing a CE 2500 all day long. Um, it's super lightweight. I pair it with the seven, uh, seven foot six, six to twelve pound either sniper or stealth sniper from Bull Bay. It's a super lightweight rod. Allows me to have accurate casts. And every time I pick up this reel, I, I know I have ten pound test on my twenty five hundred. I know I'm gonna be able to make long casts and accurate casts at my fish. And usually I'm throwing a rigged backwards DOA shrimp uh, for sight fishing. And sometimes I'll throw uh, a paddle tail on the twenty five hundred, but generally I reserve the, t the paddle tail for our three thousand size reel. So. Main feature I'd say on the 2500 is the fact that it's super lightweight, 7.65 ounces. When you compare that to a Shimano equivalent, we're looking at the sustain at 7.6 ounces. So you're talking a 0.15 ounce difference. It's almost negligible. And when it comes to this, the Stratic, the Stratic uh, 2500 is 7.8 ounces. So we're actually 0.15 ounces lighter than a Shimano Stratic on our new CE Pro. So super lightweight reel, super smooth. Really, really love smaller size of the 2500 again a great great reel for sight fishing for redfish sea trout i'm sure there's plenty of other species you can sight fish with but in particular those are my go-to when i'm throwing a 2500 size reel one thing i will take note of if you end up buying one of these reels it does come with a really cool warranty card if you guys buy a new ce pro i definitely recommend you check out the warranty card it talks a little bit about our story how you can use our hashtags and we'll share your content uh, shows you uh, where you can scan to actually provide us feedback for the reel. Writing reviews is huge. We use tons of angler feedback that goes into the development of our reels. And I'd say most importantly right here is scanning for your warranty. Uh, you can register for your warranty from this QR code. That's going to ensure that your reel is protected for the first year. And in the future, we also have, I think, a QR code for uh, our service on, not here, but actually in the box itself. So if you ever need reel service, that's readily available for you guys as well. So. That's the 2500, that's my inshore sight fishing reel. Uh, I really like that too for fishing for bonefish. I actually shot an ad with Benny Blanco down in uh, Biscayne Bay. Just a couple weeks ago, we were fishing for bonefish. I got skunked, I sight fish a, a fish. I ended up Jimmy Houston in it and I ripped the hook out of his mouth. That was my experience with bonefish, but Benny caught a really beautiful bonefish on the 2500. I'd say for that use and for those types of game fish, we need to make long accurate casts. They're gonna make a lot of fast runs and peel a lot of line. 2500 is an awesome option for that. Now, bumping up to the next option of Osprey CE Pro. This is our 3000 size CE Pro. Again, 
super lightweight reel. It bumps up from 7.65 ounces to 7.85 ounces. That makes it 0 0.05 ounces lighter than a Shimano Stratic. Theirs comes in at 7.9, so it's really in that same ballpark. Uh, the sustain, I think, is seven in the 7.6 seven, range or 7.7 seven, seven range, so right in that same ballpark is a sustain as well. Uh, the 3000, I really like for power fishing, so I put a paddle tail um, on my on my reel, my 3000 size reel. Usually I'm using a 3000 with a seven foot six, eight to 17. I like seven foot six rods fishing in Florida because I need to make long casts. I'm fishing long shorelines, we have clear water, we can see fish from a far distance. I wanna be able to make long accurate casts to fish. So set, for me, seven foot six is a better rod option. That's why I throw up my 3000s. If you're power fishing in creeks, maybe a seven foot or six foot six is better for you guys. But on all my 3000s, I run a seven foot six, eight to 17. I bump up a little bit from that six to 12 on the 2500. Has a little more backbone, gives me a little bit uh, better casting distance, I think, on the 3000. And I would power fish primarily with paddle tails. I just pound down shorelines, I pound through potholes, speckled bottom. Uh, I'm just constantly casting, 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 casting with this reel. And one feature I really love on the new 3000 Z Pro, really on all the Z Pros, is the new speed retrieve. And I find it most applicable on my 3000 because it's what I power fish with. The speed retrieve has 20% faster pickup from our Osprey, our original Osprey CE, also 20% faster pickup than our Solos and our Bahia as well. So how that benefits you is when you're power fishing down a shoreline, you have a zone that your fish are in, probably 20% away from the shoreline, maybe 20, 30 feet away. So once you make that cast and you start bringing it in, once you're past 30 feet from the shoreline, a lot of times I'm picking up that line super fast so I can make another cast back into that zone. That 20% faster retrieve is going to allow me to make 20% more casts throughout the day, hopefully giving me 20% more options, uh, more opportunities to catch more fish. So I really like the speed retrieve for that particular option, um, specifically for power fishing down shorelines or power fishing through spotted bottom and on potholes as well. Uh, hitting on the speed retrieve, I actually have a cool story. Our, Customer care director, previously our office manager, Captain Kyle Groh, and his buddy Cam Winter just won the Power Pole uh, National Redfish Series. This specific event in Steenhatchee uh, was them gets 80 of the best anglers, or really 80 of the best teams in the state of Florida. And they actually won this just last week on Saturday. And they specifically said what they were using was that speed retrieve on this new reel with the 3000. And they were power fishing, drifting really fast. They had 25 to 30 mile an hour winds, just pushing them through the flat very quickly. They were keyed in on all sorts of different bottom, but for the most part, they're just blind fishing all over the place. And by having that faster 20% uh, retrieve, that speed retrieve, it allowed them to pick that line up just a little bit faster as they're drifting towards their bait to get that bait moving at a more natural pace. That's what allowed them to catch their fish, and they said that it was a huge help in terms of winning the Steen Hatchy event for the Power Pole Redfish Tour this, this past year. So this is my first feel on this Osprey CE 3000. I have fished a couple of them, but this is the first time I put my hands on this particular reel. Sounds good, feels good, looks good. We got the new Pro Grips on the new CE Pro. So previous generations of Florida Fishing Products reels, we've always had EVA grips. I like EVA, it lasts forever. I will say the one downside is over time, the EVA grips can get a little bit slippery if you don't maintain them, or if they spend a lot of time in the sun, they get baked, you know, they can get slick. And so the benefit of the Pro Grips, this rubber grip, is you're gonna have just more control over your reel, more control over your bait, and ultimately over the, over the long haul, you just have a little bit of a better grip on your reel with these new Pro Grips. So I like that little addition to all of our new CE Pros. Uh, both the 25 and 3000 have these new tab handles. The new 4000 actually has a T handle, which is a larger size handle. A little more uh, familiar for you uh, Shimano and Daiwa guys. That's generally where you're gonna see on those particular reels is that T handle. But again, this measures in at 7.85 ounces, super lightweight reel on the 3000. Awesome, awesome reel for power fishing. You know, if you're just a one reel guy, you don't need all three. Uh, maybe you just fish on weekends and you just, you just only need one reel. I'd say a 3000 is a great option for you. You could sight fish with it, you could power fish with it, you can bump up a little bit and fish for redfish, bigger redfish, bigger snook, bigger black drum with the, th the 3000 size reel. You still have plenty of line capacity. You have 22 pounds of drag on this thing. It's gonna handle big fish too. So really a great all around reel for you guys that are more of a one reel type of angler or a one size of angler. So 
To finish off our lineup of Osprey CE Pros, we have our 4000 size CE Pro, which this is my favorite setup for sight fishing for snook, blind fishing for snook. Really, if I'm fishing for snook with artificial lures, 99% of the time I'm going with the CE Pro 4000. If I'm going for really big fish, I'm throwing big baits, I might bump up to a Resolute 5000, but I'd say 90. 90% of the time I'm throwing a CE Pro 4000. It has 24 pounds of drag, has a lot of drag capacity on it, sorry, a lot of line capacity on it. Uh, usually on this reel, I'm putting 20 pound test. So how I, how I rig up my reels, I have 10 pound on a 2500, I have 15 pound on a 3000, I have 20 pound on my 4000. So as I bump up and I pick up that rod, I know exactly how much uh, line I have on it, I know exactly what pound test that line is on it. Usually I know exactly what floor I have on it immediately just based on the type of reel that it is, and the type of rod that it is. So that gives me a lot of confidence when I pick up a rod and reel. I know exactly what I'm getting into. It's kind of like picking up a golf club. You know, you feel your seven iron. I know the exact feel of my 4000. I know everything about it. Um, and that gives me confidence out of the water. So with my 4000, I run a seven foot six, 10 to 20 pound rod. So six to 12 on a 2500, eight to 17 on a 3000, 10 to 20 on the 4000. That allows me to pull bigger fish away from the mangroves. When I'm fishing for big snook up near the mangroves, those 35 to 40 inch fish, they will make long fast runs right back towards the mangroves. So having a little better drag capacity on this reel and a little bit bigger backbone on that rod that I pair with it, allows me to pull this fish away from the mangroves, get their head turned, get that fish moving towards the boat faster. It gives me a better chance of landing that fish and not getting broken off on those mangroves, which can be treacherous when you're fishing for snook. So the Osprey CE Pro 4000 is actually lighter when you compare it to other 4000 size reels. It is at 8.75 ounces on this reel. It is a super lightweight 4000. It is lighter than a Shimano Stratic 4000. It is lighter than a Shimano Sustain 4000. And it has just as much drag capacity as both of those reels. Uh, they're all in the same category in terms of uh, the retrieve on them. They're pretty, pretty similar. But what I would say we do better with Osprey CE Pro over both of those reels is our reels are eco-sealed, uh, meaning we have uh, eco-sealed bearings in specific areas on the reel. We find problem areas like the roller bearing, we put eco-sealed ball bearings on it. We see a problem area, area under the rotor where water can get in, we put eco-sealed ball bearings on that. Uh, with this particular reel, I'll pull it out and show you here, guys. We have made cuts in the spool, and those cuts in the spool have allowed a little more access underneath the spool, uh, so water can make it onto that main shaft, and eventually, uh, potentially, if you didn't seal it up, it could allow water to get into the gear case and get into your pinion gear and your drive gear and wreak havoc. What we have done, because we have made cuts in the spool, is we actually sealed up the rotor nut underneath the spool so water can no longer access into the gear case from underneath the spool. Additionally, where the handle attaches to the frame itself, right inside of here, we've put another seal uh, to help keep the bearings inside, uh, the drive gear bearings from getting corroded over time and from water getting inside that gear case. We also put a O-ring here on the back side of this cap. I can't get this thing off. That's a good sign. We put an O-ring inside the back side of this cap on the opposite side of your handle, which covers the, the other handle attachment if you're using your, your real goofy, how I would call it, if you're using your, your handle on the opposite side. So as a whole, the Osprey CE Pro is better sealed, not only better sealed than our original Osprey CE and our Bahia and our Sols, but it's better sealed than the Shimano Stratic and better sealed than the Shimano Sustain. Both are great reels. Uh, I would say their reels though, they build a labyrinth design to help keep uh, water out. But what we found is that their roller bearings still get corroded over time. Also, their rotor bearings can get corroded over time. So those are problem areas that we have found just through testing, uh, spending a lot of time on the water, working with a lot of different guides. And we have sealed up those areas with rubber sealed roller bearings, meaning this reel is gonna last a lot longer in solar use over the long haul. So again, guys, this is the 4000 Osprey CE Pro. It does come with the T-handle, which for you Shimano and Diagola guys, this is going to be a lot more familiar. You've seen this T-handle before. This is an awesome grip. It really feels good when you're throwing artificials. Again, it's Pro Grip. It's that new rubber that we're offering here at Florida Fishing Products. And as a whole, I'm really excited to be fishing this new Osprey CE Pro 4000. I'm excited for this spring, getting on some really big snook, hopefully some mid to, to well, hopefully small to mid-sized tarpon, the ones that are not backbreakers. I'm looking to go for the under 50... 50 pounders here with the 4000 and overall i mean it's an awesome feeling reel super smooth that speed retrieve 
uh, definitely feels really, really nice. The overall look of it with the new space gray, just a perfect, perfect lineup from the, the nice light silver Solos to the uh, black and silver Bahia. And then on the high end, we have the Osprey CE Pro, which is that space gray with the metallic gray as well. It's just a really beautiful look to it. And overall, every aspect of this reel, we really wanted to go above and beyond to provide more performance for the angler and just more overall bang for the buck. Everything you're getting on this reel is upgraded from the new T3 drag system to the pro grips. We added torque screws, which are not going to uh, strip out over you over time versus a, a Phillips head eventually can strip out. I think we're gonna eventually move to torque screws on all of our reels in the future for that very reason. We added the travel bag in the box itself. It comes with a level two eco sealed, uh, eco sealing on the new Osprey CE Pro. We introduced the new speed retrieve, which is 20% faster line pickup with the carbon light body and the new T3 drag system. This is actually 10% lighter. Each one of these reels is 10% lighter than its predecessor, the Osprey CE. So there are just so many awesome features in the new Osprey CE Pro. I'm really excited for the launch that's coming up here in the next few weeks. By the time you guys watch this video, this reel will have already been launched. So I would recommend if you haven't already, check them out at your local dealer. Uh, we're gonna have new displays available in a lot of our shops here in Florida, hopefully some in North Carolina and Texas as well. So reach out to your local shop, uh, give them a call, see if they're holding the Osprey CE Pro. And if they are, you know, go check them out on that display. Uh, you can check out the Solace, the Bahia, and the new Osprey CE Pro, our good, better, best option. And yeah, give it a spin and, and, and check it out. I highly recommend uh, that you get one on your boat. This reel is going to be awesome, guys. It is an awesome reel for fishing inshore for pretty much any of the species you're going to catch in the state of Florida or anywhere on the Gulf Coast. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Let's just let that roll. <laughs> this is reality right here. This is what we deal with. Oh, they answered it. Nice. Usually when I'm filming at home, I got lawnmowers going all the time. Cause I got neighborhoods around me. It's literally, it's constant, always lawnmowers. Again, I'm really excited about the new Osprey CE Pro launch. I hope you guys give us some feedback in the comments below. Let me know what your thoughts are on this video and how I did this overview doing the unboxing of each size and talking about my uses of this reel. Um, definitely let me know, yeah, what you think about the first impressions of the reel. If you have the opportunity to get out there and pick it up uh, in person, please comment below. Let me know what are your thoughts, good, bad, and ugly. What can we improve upon? What do we do good? Uh, and then if you have the opportunity to fish this thing, definitely let me know what you've been able to catch on the new Osprey CE Pro. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel, and y'all have a great day. Good fishing. God bless, and good fishing.